Rodney, could you tell me about the title? How you choose the title of the exhibition? Well, I made a, I own a, a bakery with some friends in the studio, and I, I made a, a flower arrangement for the, for the, for the bakery, and I texted it to, to one of the other, one of the other studio people, uh, and, and she, uh, you know, to see if she liked it. She said, you should, it's great, you should be an artist, you know. And I thought, I, I, it was like that expression, which I associate with some, some, something that the people say when you've done something that's uh, creative, you know. So I just thought it was kind of a funny, ironic title, and then it made me think about the, uh, the different artistic personas that I kind of assumed in my work. Um, yeah, so I, I thought it was a funny, ironic title. I don't know whether it kind of, uh, there's almost an, impl an imperative kind of implication where I, I, I don't really mean to be saying everybody should be an artist. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's like a joke ironic, in a way, no? In that ironic sense of that somebody says, oh, you should be an artist. So, um, but the exhibition is very ironic. Yeah. Not in a bitter way, but yeah. in a cool way. Um, the feeling is that you have a lot of fun doing your work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was a way of exploring painting, something that I came to late, and it was, I, I can't ever really claim to be a painter because I think it's, it's a kind of a vocation really you start early with and it, you dedicate yourself to. So it's a bit of a dilettante kind of approach to to different painting strategies. And I guess that started with a, with a, with a large uh, uh, piece that I made, uh, The Gifted Amateur, which is really, uh, in a way, about Morris Lewis and about kind of uh, painting of that era, American painting of that era, and about somebody who wanted to do it as an amateur, who kind of uh, became inspired by seeing art exhibitions and thought, wait, I thought, I can do this, I went in, it kind of looks easy. Uh, uh, and so this hypothetical person in this picture 